Welcome to another episode of In My Room, the weekly series where I'll be discussing the hidden elements and the inner workings of the teenage bedroom. Right here in my hand, I have today's topic. If you can't guess, it is a diary. This is my diary from 2003 and 2004, so I was a freshman in high school. I'm going to read the first entry. October 14th, 2003. I'm in an okay mood. Good factors. Ben got dumped by Liz. Billy sort of likes me. I typed my play. I have no friend problems. Bad factors. Adam didn't call me and he's being a jerk. Kenny is moving. I have school tomorrow. I don't understand biology. Since the good factors and the bad factors are equal, they cancel each other out. Therefore, I'm in an okay mood. Abuela got me this journal. I'm glad I have it because I need it now more than ever. F-bomb. <laughs> My computer isn't restarting and I need to print something. I'm getting impatient with this all. Good night. As you can see, I pretty thoroughly filled this out. First of all, we should define what a diary is. And essentially a diary is a collection of writing about one's life. The most defining factor is that a diary is private. Why the diary feels so intrinsic to the teen bedroom specifically, I think the teen bedroom is really the first place that you are allowed this privacy so it makes sense that you also have this super private object. The diary really acts as this extra level of protection guarding your thoughts and your hopes and your fears and your wishes and your dreams and basically everything that runs through your head that you're willing to put down on paper. You're starting to grapple with a lot more responsibilities and a lot more social problems, a lot more emotional problems and a lot just like a lot. There's just a lot flowing out of you. We spend our entire days walking around and interacting with people and performing for people essentially. So we're not really showing anyone an unfiltered version of ourselves and this is this beautiful sacred account of our lives for us. Because we are grappling with really similar things. It just feels really intensely lonely. And the diary sort of acts as this friend or this companion that you can really just released to. Another thing that really happened in the late 90s, early 2000s was online diaries, essentially Live Journal, Dead Journal, Zanga, Blogspot. In a lot of ways it sort of defeats the purpose of the diary because it's no longer private once it's online. Writing with viewers in mind really does change the way that you are going to talk about your day, whether or not you're aware of it. Even looking at my diary from when I was 14 and then going and reading my live journal entries from when I was 16, there's a huge difference of the way that I'm communicating because I know that I have a little bit of an audience or I know that people are going to comment. The physical diary is the ultimate form of, of private thought and the digital diary almost completely negates that, but it's still the same method of collection. The diary unintentionally becomes this gender thing. I don't think that's on purpose because historically lots of men have kept diaries, but when I think about a diary, I think about girls. I even sort of remember there was this whole this whole thing of boys not wanting to keep diaries because they were girly so they would call it a journal in order to, to sort of distance themselves from that. So like boys had journals and girls had diaries. Every time like I say things like this I'm like everyone knows like we get it. I wonder if it has something to do with women being seen as more like emotional or needing to sort of get their feelings out more and men not doing that so why would they write in a diary about their feelings when like they don't need to do that at all right there's this tendency to feel shame or feel embarrassment about who you were or who you are especially when you're a young person and especially when it comes to your feelings or your emotions i was watching some youtube videos 
of people rereading their teen diaries and everyone was just making fun of their old self also just like preemptively sort of like taking jabs at themselves which is fine like we can all do that but it felt almost like a defense mechanism like they wanted to distance themselves from the person that they used to be and I understand the impulse because you feel nervous or you feel embarrassed or you, you feel like cringy about certain things that you felt but those were real feelings and those were really important and you were finding ways to express yourself through like poetry and through writing. I wonder why we're even embarrassed at all. On that note, I'm going to end with an entry that I'm sure 14 year old me would hate that I shared, but February 5th, 2004. I wish I was pretty. Maybe one day my wish will come true. I have never been so concerned about my looks. It just seems like everyone is pretty except for me. Like everyone grew into models and I still look ugly. No one calls me pretty. Guys don't exactly notice me. But I don't think I have a good personality. <laughs> Gorgeous. I want to be that. Oh, and I added my mood. Lonely, tired, and jealous. So, until next time, 